So welcome back to another vlog. Kendra and I are in Miami for a few days on vacation. So it's been about two years. We're here for a few days. It's a little cloudy and the weather, the weather said it's supposed to like rain pretty much the whole time we're here. But luckily it's like low percentage. So like 40%. So hopefully it doesn't rain because it was raining when we landed. But by the time we got into uh, our Uber on the way to the hotel, it stopped raining. So. Yeah, we're not doing much today because it's already like five. We just have dinner. We're going to Carbone later and I've been wanting to go there for the longest time. And I ended up booking the reservations like two weeks ago. I'm the reservation queen. I be having my restaurants lined up because I like a nice dining experience. So we're going to Carbone tonight and then we have some really nice other restaurants planned to go to. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton South Beach because I know they have another one that's further. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton South Beach. So I'll show you guys like a quick room tour. By the way, this is what I wore to the airport. This cute green set. You guys can't really see that well. It's a full length mirror over there. I'll show y'all. But I'm in the bathroom. So this is a nice big mirror. We have double sinks. As you can see, we've already started unpacking. I love the marble in here. It's so pretty. Of course, Kendra picked this hotel. She is the hotel booking queen and I'm the restaurant booking queen. So we just leave those things to each other because she's good at booking hotels and I'm great at booking restaurants. So here's the tub. I have a nice tub and then in here, I think it's the shower or the, oh yeah, the toilet's in here. Yeah. And then on this side is the shower. Ooh. Okay, they have dip in the shower too. Yeah, this is a beautiful shower. This is really nice. Diptyque, shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. I will be trying that shower gel. And then here's the closet. Little mirror here. I'm about to unpack. Y'all know I like to literally take all my clothes out of my luggage. I don't like living out of a suitcase. Some people don't mind doing that, but I like to take all my clothes out. Let me know if you are an unpack unpacker, like actually hang your stuff up or if you just leave your stuff in the luggage, because I can't do that. Um, this is the front door. They have really nice hardwood floors in here, by the way. And then here's a nice full length mirror. Excuse this big bulge. We were in a rush because we were like the last ones to board our flight because we were kind of late, but we made it, but my pants broke. So I had to put a scrunchie here. So <laughs> yeah, excuse my, yeah, this little bulge here, but these pants are so freaking soft. They feel like pajamas. Um, I got these sweats from Target. I got this whole set from Target actually. It's like a pretty green color as you guys saw in the bathroom because the lighting's way better in there. But it has like this cute heart here. So cute. I think I'm going to go back and get other colors because they had other colors. Um, but I wanted to get the green obviously. So yes. Then here's the bedroom. Excuse our luggages. Um, this bed is huge by the way. This is actually, It actually looks bigger in person than it does on camera. Um, so I love the, what do you call that? Wayne's coating? Paneling. Panel, panel. Yeah, I love the panel walls. It's really pretty. Um, our view is, it's all right. I mean, it's just city view, but that's okay, we're here. And then here's a little credenza and the TV. It's kind of 70s, it's cute. Retro? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of retro. So yeah, that is our hotel room. By the way, I was supposed to do like a whole like prep for this trip video. I did my own like boho knotless braids. Um, and they turned out pretty cute, but I'm just gonna have to refilm it the next time I do this hairstyle because I'm not gonna lie, I was a little lost when I started doing this. And it's crazy because when you're learning how to do something by watching, you're like, oh, that looks easy, That no problem, I can do that. But by the time I started doing this, y'all, I was like, nah, I'm gonna have to turn this camera off. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to refilm it for you guys next time I do it. But luckily it did turn out pretty cute. They look a little crusty right now because I need to put some mousse in my hair. Um, Cause I've had these in now for like a week and a half, a week and a half. And then on Kendra, I did boho knotless twist. So y'all see her hair later. 
Um, but yeah, both styles came out cute, but I'll just film this next time I do my hair. So yeah. Hey guys, so we're refreshed and showered. I wish I had time to take a nap, but we didn't. I'll just sleep good tonight, so it's fine. Um, we just got done getting ready for dinner. And I'm excited to eat at Carbone because this is our first time eating um, here. We were going to eat here in the one in New York, but they're always fully booked. So you have to be, like you said, how many weeks like, in advance? Like a whole month, maybe two. A month plus some pasta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but we're going to eat there tonight. So I'm really excited. And I'm going to show you guys my outfit really quick. I feel like we were just in Miami, even though Kelsey said earlier we were here like two years ago. I feel like that was more recent. Um, but yeah, quick little mini vacay. Honestly, Kelsey and I have not been on any summer vacations all summer because I have not been in a mood to be out. Like the summer is too hot, it's too many people. I just don't want to be bothered. My mood just told me to stay home. Like that's what my intuition kept telling me. So this trip just felt like it was the right time to come and end of summer vacations are always like good because like it's less crowded so because i feel like june july is always kind of like a lot for me kind of overwhelming so that's why i wanted to wait until the end of the summer but this is my hair like kelsey said earlier she did boho knotless twists i love these i'm feeling very lisa bonet in these it took her like four or five hours to do this um but i think she did a really good job for the first time like doing these ever on me and i love them so i think this is going to be like a go-to protective style like when i don't feel like doing my own hair because i just like the look of them on me and i just think they're really practical okay this is the outfit that i'm wearing all black of course with pops of red um so this top is from addicted i think it's what it's called it's like a really cute wrap bell sleeve top really cute i love the double tie in the middle this is like two separate pieces um, but super cute and then this skirt is from Urban Outfitters just like a silk black skirt and then my shoes are Steve Madden heels. I didn't know there was a dress code for Carbone so I'm glad I'm meeting the dress code requirements because I just wanted to wear this for tonight because pasta for me equals black. That's why I wanted to wear this one tonight. Um, Kelsey you're wearing jeans but jeans are okay right? Yeah it didn't say no jeans on the because that's still like dressy that's cute i love that say no no jeans or i think yeah. it's cute yeah, i think it's cute too this is the first time i like got ready since i did my hair yeah really me too because i've been so used to these in like no makeup which yeah. i still love them then but mm -hmm. i like them now too yeah me too i like the length too because yeah. you did mine pretty long but i asked her for yeah I, cut them a little bit. yeah I had them longer but i was like i'm not trying to be have my hair dipping in the toilet when i go pee <laughs> so I thought this was the perfect length. I still like throw them over my shoulder to use the bathroom, of course. But yeah. So this lighting kind of sucks a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm just wearing this cute like silk halter from Aritzia. Yeah, I think I showed you guys this in New York because it was in a haul that I did. Yeah, with these really cute jeans from, these jeans are from Zara and they're so cute and they're really comfortable too. They're actually really soft and I love like the distress detail like on the side yeah i'm obsessed with the detail on the side they're so cute so it's giving cool girl vibes i wanted to be like chill you know on night one because like the other two outfits i packed for dinner are like dresses and this is perfect to eat pasta in because it's like loose right here just in case i'm a little bloated you know so i'm just gonna bring my coach bag i forgot the name of this one but i got me and carrying one of these for summer and this is so freaking cute um, by the way, this is the scent that I'm wearing. This is the perfume that I'm wearing. Kendra actually got me this as a gift for doing her hair. And it smells so good. It's like cedarwood and rose. So this is the brand. It smells amazing. It's giving date night. And it's just like the ultimate like dinner like scent. It smells so, so good. I'm going to call the Uber. What time is it? Let me see. So I want to take some pictures in the lobby. I'm going to show y'all the lobby. I ain't going to show y'all the lobby before because when we first got here i didn't have the sd card it was in my luggage and they haven't brought our luggages up yet so i'll show you guys the lobby when we go down so this is my makeup um i just did like a little bit of like glittery shadow on the lid and then i just smoked out the edge with a little liquid liner by the way all my rings are from the m jewelers and then this necklace is from nordstrom like this diamond cross a lot of people ask me about is from nordstrom and then this necklace this gold chain necklace is also from the m jewelers
Okay guys, so we are back from dinner and it was really, really good. The restaurant was beautiful. We ended up sitting outside because that's the only reservation that I can get, but the outside was really nice too. But we went in before we got seated. I looked around and I was like, oh my gosh, this is stunning. Cause I love like the just speak easy vintage vibes that they had going on in there. It was super pretty. The service was really good as well. Like, like everybody was super attentive. At one point, I honestly didn't know who our server was because so many different people kept coming to our table to help us. So they have really good customer service. They're very attentive. Like they bring you out like appetizers that like just, you know, that are free, but I still think you have to pay for them. It's um, a basket of bread and it's like three different kinds of bread. And then they bring out this like cauliflower type vinaigrette salad thing. I only had like one bite of that because I don't really like cauliflower. I don't give cauliflower. Comment down below if you like cauliflower because I don't get it. it. Don't taste like nothing. Kendra said it tastes like air. But the bread was delicious and then the salami was really, really good. And I'm very picky when it comes to salami because uh, I put it on my cheese board sometimes, my charcuterie board, and it was really good. Um, we ended up getting the spicy rigatoni vodka pasta and it was really good because that's their like most popular dish. And it was really, really good. But for some reason, when we like our first few bites, when we tasted it, for some reason, it tasted like <laughs> Rotel dip. I don't know if you guys have ever had Rotel dip, but it's like dip that you have at like parties and stuff. Um, but yeah, it tasted like Rotel dip the first few bites, but it was still a delicious pasta. It's still not topping the pasta that I had at Lulu in Paris. That pasta was incredible but theirs was still good because sometimes vodka sauce pasta makes my stomach hurt but that one didn't and maybe it's because i took a digestive enzyme before we went to dinner so maybe that's why my stomach doesn't hurt so if you have stomach problems or you have ibs like me you should take a digestive enzyme before you eat anything that might upset your stomach if you have a sensitive stomach so digestive enzymes are very helpful what is that kendra found something in her hair because and the towards the end of dinner it started raining and i told y'all we sat like on the patio and it started raining so people kept coming over adjusting like our umbrella because they have like this like covered part that like goes the over tent. yeah like it, i saw they were rolling that out mm -hmm. but then they also had umbrellas too on top of that yeah what is this and this fell on Kendra's. <laughs> this fell what is it she found it in her hair it was in my hair while we were in the uber because I had my hair like all to the side like this and I was just touching it. I said, <laughs> what is that? I don't know, maybe it's like a pen holder. Oh, maybe you're right. It does kind of like a pen holder. That you put At a pen first on? I thought they put, it was like a something that like that they used for like to separate menus. But them menus was way too big for that. No, them menus look like an encyclopedia. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> they were huge. I've never in my life seen menus that big. I would give her bone five star service this is really nice. four star food so yeah that's my rating Gosh. what's your rating same same okay um so tomorrow um according to the weather it says in the it's morning sunny. yeah it said but it's yeah it says it's supposed to be sunny thank god because i was kind of sad at first i was like lord please do not let it rain because it rained a little bit at dinner but it's miami so it, it rained randomly at like for like 10 15 minutes and then it'll stop it says sunny so we'll see pray it stays like this for our beach day because i want to go to the beach tomorrow and on uh, sunday i mean saturday yeah tomorrow and saturday i want to go to the beach but i'm exhausted it's been a long travel day so we'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys so it is day two of miami and we slept pretty good. Um, I fell asleep pretty quickly, but I had to keep getting up in the middle of the night because I was having like acid reflux issues, which is very annoying. But the sun is out finally because earlier it was kind of cloudy and I think it rained a little bit this morning, but the sun is out. So, well, this cover up is from Target. I just got it in like a large, so it fit bigger. And then like this really cute bikini is from Anaconda Swim and it has like cute, seashells i love the details on this so 
Yeah, I found them on Instagram. Um, I had never heard of Anaconda Swim before, but I found them on Instagram. So yeah, my jewelry is just the same from last night. I'm not gonna wear any rings. Um, and I just always have these same earrings in. These emerald studs from the M Jewelers. These hoops, no, Measury. These studs are from Measury. These hoops are from Measury. And then these gold earring, this gold stud is from the M Jewelers. So let me show you guys what's in my beach bag. So. Let's do a what's in my beach bag. So first things first, I always have vitamins. Because I need to take my vitamins. Sunglasses. Obviously, I have some sunscreen. I already put my thick cream sunscreen on, but this is for reapplication. This is from Shiseido. This is my favorite spray sunscreen, SPF 50. Because it's so lightweight and easy to reapply. Got a bottle of water in here. Um, some Cheez-Its. Gotta have a snack. Then I have a few of these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. I'm obsessed with these. I get them from Target. The blueberry is my favorite. Um, uh, then I have the wristband because you have to have a wristband around here. Then I have a hatch just in case the sun gets in my face. Then I got this fan. Kendra got these from Amazon because when me, Kendra, and Claudia were at the winery the month before last, she had one of these. Claudia had one of these. And it's like... A portable air conditioner this thing has five five different levels sorry I'm turning on all the levels oh that feels so good yeah this is literally like an air conditioner <laughs> five levels oh yeah yeah Kendra's gonna put it yeah thank you for reminding me so yeah we're gonna put this in our storefront I just got the mint green color and Kendra got the same color Claudia had the nude one then I just have my wallet in here. Then I gotta have the key to get back into the room. What else I got in here? I have a scrunchie. AirPods. So, yeah, that's all I have in here. I don't think I'm missing nothing. Okay guys, so I'm beach ready. I just have on my little bucket hat. I recently got this from Target because I really needed a bucket hat because I don't have any. And I really like the protection that the bucket hat gives from the sun. And this cover up is from Target, it's oversized. This bikini is from Frankie's Bikini. It's like a really pretty like sherbet color, like pink, orange, and blue. Love this. And then my sandals are from Steve Madden. I thought I thought it brought out the orange and the bikini, so. And then this is the beach bag I'm bringing. I love this beach bag, it's from Amazon. I bought this like four years ago. And it's my favorite beach bag, it's so cute. Have all my things in here, extra sunscreen, fan, sunglasses. And here I just have like extra things. I just have like wet wipes and stuff in there and you know, like Lysol spray. And then I have like an extra little mini perfume. And then I have a little book here. I would have been on this side, it's pretty. So we're walking to the beach. He said down the bridge. I think this is where their spy is, Kendra. Yeah. I think he said all the way down. Oh, that's a pretty hallway. Oh, they have a beach club. They have Chevron floors. Oh, yeah, pool right here. Here's the pool. This is a lounge. It's so nice. It's pretty. Here's the bar. And then here's the pool. Sorry, y'all, it keeps getting foggy. It's Miami, so. Oh yeah, cute. back in the room now um we were at the beach pretty much all day like we got there around one something and then we just left it like almost six so like around 5 40 something i just showered i'm nice and refreshed had to get all that sand out of the nooks and crannies 
and I feel refreshed. Um, so we're about to get ready for dinner. Um, tonight we have a reservation at a place called Contessa. I think that's what I made the reservation for. It's called Contessa. Um, and they have like pasta, steak, fish. So I'm not sure how to categorize that kind of restaurant, but yeah, that's kind of food they have. But I saw pictures online and it looks so, so pretty. And they have like a pretty extensive drink menu. So excited to see what their drink menu is looking like. But before we go to dinner, I did want to take some beach pictures. So we're probably going to walk back to the beach, um, back through the hotel, back to the beach to take a few pictures. Yeah, but it was a beautiful beach day. It wasn't too hot. It was in the 80s. The wind was blowing. So I didn't even hit my fan. I didn't use my fan not once because the weather was perfect. Like it was not too hot because last time we came, it was July and it was way too hot. So August is like the perfect time. For Miami but it still has only been raining like short spurts maybe for like 10 minutes 15 minutes then it'll stop so I think the rain like cooled it off so that is one benefit to rain um well the aftermath of rain because before it'd be a little too humid but today was perfect a perfect beach day I need to go iron my dress actually so I should probably I should probably do that this is the dress I'm gonna wear tonight it's like gold. Yeah, this is definitely wrinkled. Let me iron this right quick. This is from Mika's, by the way. Super cute. So I'm gonna iron this. And I'm probably gonna wear it with these semi, these semi strappy heels. Here that goes, that's cute. On our way to dinner, we got our pictures in. Yeah, it was pretty out. Yeah, it was pretty out. The breeze. I know, the, the breeze. Miami sea breeze, I love it. Me too. We just woke up it is saturday afternoon and kelsey and i are getting ready to go on like a little shopping day not like crazy shopping but we're just gonna go um spend the afternoon in miami have some brunch at this place called buddha vida i think that's how you pronounce it and they have like a bunch of these around miami i really wanted to get an acai bowl because i know they're really known for those kelsey wants to get one too and try their matcha so we're gonna go do that and then after that, we're gonna come back and if we still have some time, we still wanna go to the beach again today, have like another beach day because yesterday was so relaxing and nice. I think it was like the nicest beach day I've ever had in Miami because last time we were here, it was like so, so high. I was like dripping sweat and it was just the middle of July. So I think beach days in Miami are better in August because it was super nice yesterday and it was a little cloudy. So I think that helped a little because the sun wasn't like out too much like beaming so yeah we're gonna go do that so yeah that's the plan for the day and then tonight we're gonna go to prime 112 for dinner that'll be our last dinner here because then we go home tomorrow and yeah and this is the outfit that i'm wearing shopping this little black dress from tala it's like a strapless dress this little black dress from a place called tala and this belt is from amazon this little gold little chain belt super super cute and then i just put on like some extra jewelry i'm usually not this accessorized but since i didn't want to put on makeup um i just thought earrings necklace and more rings were necessary because you guys know i'm more minimal with my jewelry but i just thought this was more well suited for like a strapless tube top dress and i just did my hair half up half down because i thought the twist look cute style like this so yeah this is the fit okay guys so here's my extremely casual fit i just wanted to do like a t-shirt and jeans kind of vibe so these sunglasses i forgot where they're from honestly i have no idea where they're from bag is my favorite denim saint laurent and then this uh t-shirt is thrifted um it just says hollywood beach florida and then these really cute jeans yeah these jeans are from zara i love the baggy fit when i don't feel like having like tight things on because I've been in tight things since we've been here, dresses. Now the first time I wore jeans, yeah, these aren't distressed though. They're just like plain um, baggy jeans. They're the 
baggy boyfriend fit i think from zara and they're the light wash i also got them in the dark wash because i have been looking for some really good like, boyfriend style jeans that actually fit me and these fit perfect because they're baggy but they're not falling off of me you know so they're like super cute and comfy these slides are from steve madden so yep about to have me going to Neiman's because she wants to smell perfumes of course. Y'all know Kendra. from the Bell Harbor shops and I love that mall. I think that's my new favorite mall in Miami. It's such like a peaceful, like not as crowded kind of mall. Like if you're looking for like a mall, like even if you're not buying anything, you just want to walk around. It's so nice. The ambiance is nice. They have so many different like cute restaurants and like cool little areas to take pictures in if you're looking for something like that. Like all the designers, if you're looking for that kind of mall, Bell Harbor shops is where you go. Um, but I just wanted to pick up like three things, honestly, because I had like a little baby list of things I wanted to get because I knew they had the stores I was looking for. So we went to Neiman's because I knew they were going to have like all the perfume counters that I like to go to. And then we went to Diptyque and then the Labo. I wasn't expecting to find a little Labo there, but I figured it would be close to Diptyque because I feel like they're usually like near each other, like when I'm in any mall. So yeah. So from Neiman, I got a perfume and I've been wanting to get this perfume a while. This is called Belaya from Perfumes de Marley. And this is like in the clear bottle. And I got the small bottle first because I just wanted to start the small bottle. Anytime like I'm trying a new perfume that's uh, like a niche brand, I tend to go with the smaller, smaller bottle first. So I just got this little baby bottle. And if you guys aren't familiar with Belaya, it's like the perfect, like everyday, fruity floral, very girly, musky, sexy kind of scent. Like if you like a Glossier U or anything in like a floral, fruity, like soft, clean family, you're gonna love this. I love this, it smells so, so good. It's really put together smelling. So I wanted to try this one and I can actually fit this in like my bag. Well, at least the one I'm hearing right now. Um, but look how cute this bottle is. So after this bottle, I might upgrade to the big one. Uh, I love the way this smells. So if you guys aren't familiar with this brand, this is like the infamous Delina brand, like the pink one. Um, but this clear one, I think is up there for me as far as like my favorites. Because Delina is really good, but Belaya, don't sleep on Belaya. I think you would really like it. And then from Diptyque, I got some candles. And I really wanted to smell two when I went in there because I do want to get like 
some ones from Home Goods when we get back home for the fall season. Like we always go shopping at Home Goods for a couple of fall candles. But these ones in particular, uh, I've been eyeing online for a while, but I wanted to smell them first to make sure I actually like them. And I love that these places they give you like a bunch of little samples. I got some perfume samples, but um, I got two. And I really don't want to open the plastic right now, but if I find like a picture of these candles, I'll show you like the actual one. If you guys are familiar with Diptyque candles, you know what the packaging look like looks like. But this first one I got is called Benzoin. And this is like a very warm, sweet scent. Benzoin is like very like cozy smelling. So I thought this would be nice to light on our coffee table. And I just love like the aesthetic of Diptyque candles. They just look so pretty in any room. And then the other one I got is this firewood one. And I think it smells kind of similar to like by the fireplace like that uh mason margiela perfume it kind of smells like that so it has like a nice smoky smell it smells like a fireplace so love that so these are the only two things i got from diptyque and i'm happy with my purchases so i can't wait to like these when we get home and then last but not least from the Lobo, i got another 13 perfume because i've been wanting to get this perfume since we were in paris at, um last year for our birthday but i just decided to wait to get it because um we were spending enough money in Paris last year so I decided to get another 13. if you guys are familiar with Lilabo you you've probably heard of another 13 before so that's what the bottle looks like and then she ended up putting my name on it like you can get your name printed on it or anything you want and I got like my name on it so I thought that was really cool and this one is in like the clean family like kind of like an aldehyde like a pheromone kind of scent like it's like a your skin but better kind of perfume like it wears better on the skin than like like when you spread on the paper and the store doesn't really do the scent justice you have to test this on your skin and the longer you wear it on your skin like the better it smells kind of like a glossy AU if you guys have that perfume or if you smell that one before it's kind of in that family so I really like this kind of vibe for like an everyday kind of scent but this and Malaya are like good go-to like daily scents I also just got one perfume oh she got a big one this yes this is the full size yeah, this one just size. came out well i think it doesn't even come out till tuesday but kelsey smelled the sample and she was sold instantly it's called desert dawn from byretto this is right up kelsey's alley she's very like cedar like very like clean smelling very sophisticated smelling so this is very her more like androgynous smelling so this is really pretty um, but I don't think it's out yet. It'll probably be out by the time this vlog goes up. But it just came out. This is their newest one, Desert John. Oh, she said it comes out Thursday. Oh, Thursday. I think I just said Tuesday. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one um, is their newest one. So if you guys are into like cedar, like kind of like sophisticated clean smells, then you would love this. Okay, guys. So we came to the beach. Technically, they're about to close because it's like 530. But they gave us beach chairs anyway. But... We actually came at the perfect time because it's been cloudy all day and the sun just came out. So I think we brought the sun out. Okay guys, so we're back from the beach. Um, we only stayed for like an hour because like I told y'all that we're about to close. So um, Kendra's taking a quick shower. I'm about to get in after her, take a real quick shower. Um, even though I'm just gonna take another one when I get back. But the Ritz has a 24 hour pool. So we feel like we might go to the pool when we come back. Um, Cause they begin turning at their pool. Um, they were playing some really good music last night. We can hear the music from our bathroom. They're playing some pretty good music. Cause at first they were playing like fist pump house. Not my vibe. But I heard Juvenile and I was like, wait, they actually got a DJ down there? Uh, we might go to the pool if I'm not too tired. When you get in your thirties, it's just like, by the time eight o'clock roll around, you'll be like, why well, I feel like it's 11 o'clock. Like I'm a night owl, but I'm a night owl at home. Like I stay up late at home. You know what I mean? By the way, this is my dress. I'm wearing a white dress. This is from Zara. I had this forever, but I haven't worn it yet. So hopefully I don't look bloated because that wrap that I had at Peter Vita earlier was, but I was not expecting to have like such a heavy brunch. Like I was expecting to have, oh, I can sit y'all down actually. I wasn't expecting to have like a heavy brunch. I was expecting to have like an acai bowl, but she said we'd have to wait like 15 minutes because I think they were waiting for more ingredients for the acai bowls. 
So that's how we had to end up changing our order. Kendra said her avocado toast was good, but the one that we get at Clean Juice back at home is better. Um, that's what Kendra said. I didn't try it, but she did try some of my wrap. Now that wrap that I had was delicious. It had eggs, bacon, mushrooms, and potatoes. And I picked a spinach tortilla wrap. Delicious, it was amazing. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the food last night at Contessa was delicious. That truffle pizza I had was five stars. And then the spicy lobster pasta Kendra had, it was bomb. Probably one of the best pasta meals I've ever had. Um, so I will say that the food, in my opinion, is a little bit better at Contessa than Carbone. But I like the atmosphere of each place equally. Like they're both beautiful inside and outside. Like Contessa's inside and outside were beautiful. Like very like 60s vibe. But the music at Carbone is top tier. Like, they play like all the oldies, like 60s, 50s music, 70s music, like basically everything that my grandmother likes to listen to and it just made me feel like so warm inside like all the music that they were playing just really really good music they were playing like the supremes and i think they were playing some al green and just like really good music at carbone so carbone the atmosphere is beautiful and the music was great contessa they were playing a lot of 80s music not really my vibe but the atmosphere in contessa stunning i wish i would have vlogged their bathroom i did take a picture in their bathroom but they had the most beautiful bathroom um, everywhere we've eaten it, they have great service. So that's one thing I do like about Miami. Still like Miami just as much as I did last time I came. It's so weird because the very first time we came to Miami a few years ago, I think in like 2014 maybe, I didn't really like it. Um, but the last two times that we've come in the past couple years, I've loved Miami. So yeah, I'm kind of sad to be leaving tomorrow, but back to work. But Kendra's out of the shower now, so I'm gonna take a quick shower and briefly try to iron my dress yeah because it's a little wrinkled i mean you can't really tell but i can tell so i'm just gonna iron that really quick all right guys so kelsey and i are finishing up getting ready for dinner and prime 112 is where we're going i'm really excited i haven't had this in years so hopefully it's still just as good as it was years ago when we went so yeah um this is my look my makeup is just like an all matte look with a glossy lip which is typically my signature and i've missed this makeup look very much so yes love this look if you guys are wondering what lip this is this is the kat von d crucifix lip pencil and like an old kkw like peach for lipstick with hot toddy by buxom lip gloss over top if you're wondering so that's what's on the lips um earrings i forgot i think they're from vanessa mooney and then I'll show you guys my dress really quick. This is the dress I'm wearing. It's like an abstract print. It's from a store called Runway the Label, I think is what it's called. And it's like really slinky and comfy. So this is like the most comfortable dress um, that I own. Like I don't have as many like short comfortable dresses and I typically don't wear short dresses even though I am short and I can get away with short dresses, but I just like midi length dresses usually. But I just love like the slouchy, comfy, like style that this one is so yes yeah, from my label i love the little tie and then i'm just wearing it with my steve madden you know heels i was gonna wear the red ones i wore the other day but i just wanted to keep it simple with the clear ones all right guys so i'm all ready i just pulled my hair back i had it back like this earlier when we went to the beach but i just left it like this and just like refreshed the fronts a little bit so i just did matte eye and glossy lips so this lip combo is three things y'all know me i'm extra so I just have this Makeup by Mario lip pencil in Chris, and then this The Balm Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Trustworthy. No, this is not Trustworthy. This is Reliable. Trustworthy is one of my faves, but I like Reliable too. And I just topped it with this Clarins Lip Oil in Cherry. And this is the perfume that I've been wearing this entire trip. I'm just obsessed with this. Like I said, Kendra got this for me as a gift for doing her hair, and I'm obsessed with this perfume. It's one of those niche brands that she, you know, kind of know all the bougie perfume brands. But show you guys my dress. It's really cute. It's really comfortable too. Um, it's like silk and it has like crisscross the back. Um, and it has a slit as well, which I love. And I wore these shoes night one. These are from Steve Madden. And then this dress is Zara.
Okay guys, so we're back from dinner. Sorry, I'm turning TV down. It was really good. We had to wait a little bit when we first got there, which I did not like. I'm like, what's the point of reservations if you have to wait? So Prime 112, and they do something about that. I think because they, they overbook, but it was still just as good as we remembered. We got the exact same thing that we got last time we went. We got the roasted chicken because it comes with mashed potatoes and green beans. So good. The calamari was okay. I feel like the best calamari that we've had here, I think, me personally, is the one at Carbone. Which calamari did you like better? Carbone, Contessa, or Prime? Okay, Kendra said she likes Contessa's calamari, but I liked Carbone's calamari the best. So good. But um, the food was bomb. We also got, uh, for dessert, their donuts. Because at first I was going to do the fried Oreos because they're known for their fried Oreos. But I wanted to try something different, so so we just decided to get the donuts and we brought some back. Yeah, the donuts are incredible. They kind of taste like um, Krispy Kreme donut mixed with the like, is it the Chinese place? The Chinese food place that you go where they weigh your food, their donuts, like the buffet style Chinese place, the sugar donuts, it tastes like a mixture of, of those two donuts, but better. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, they came with like eight and then we each had two a piece there and we brought four back because I'm probably gonna have two more before I go to bed because they're so freaking good and I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave them there, but I was just so full. And then Kendra got a Manhattan and then I had two watermelon martinis. They were so bomb. Cause I typically don't like martinis because I hate vodka. I'm just not a vodka drinker. I just, it gives me a headache. I can't and it just, the taste, tastes like rubbing alcohol, I can't. I like my liquor to have notes, so yeah. Um, but the watermelon martini, they made it with tequila, so I was like, yes, I'm all here for that because I love tequila, so. I had two of those, they were so good because uh, our waiter recommended the watermelon martinis. They were delicious. So yeah, this is probably gonna be the end of this vlog. We're just trying to pack up because I'm not trying to be flustered when we get up tomorrow. Just wanna have everything nice and organized. So, I'm trying to get organized. By the way, these packing cubes, are amazing they help you stay organized i have the green ones here's another one over here these things are amazing you stay so organized with these i only needed three but they came with like almost like eight or nine like i didn't even see how many was in the bag because i just kept pulling them out and using however many i needed but we got them from amazon so we'll have those in our amazon storefront and kendra's are pink these are really cute too so she got the pink ones they match her suitcase. But yeah, this is probably gonna be the end of this vlog. We're gonna try to get it up on Labor Day. And if not on Labor Day, the week of Labor Day. So yeah, that is the end of this vlog. We hope you guys enjoyed this Miami vlog. The next vlog will probably be fall themed. So be ready for that for all my fall lovers out there. You guys know that it's mine and Kendra season. So see you guys in the next vlog.